come back to the shop. We got a full, full house today. What are we working on? My Honda Rubicon. I let my little cousin drive it yesterday and I had it in auto mode. And you know how when it's cold, it doesn't shift into second very quick. So he kind of like matted it. It rubbed up really high. And then I heard something let go in the exhaust. So. Something let go in the exhaust. I don't know what it was. So today I pulled off the whole exhaust. You have to pull out the plastic footwell, disconnect the O2 sensor, and then there's just two 12 mil bolts at the exhaust flange on the front of the engine. The muffler does not come off separate. It's all one piece. Um, and so here's what it was. This piece here, the weld head broke around here. So there's a, this is its own pipe coming out from the muffler and this piece is separate and it just welds on around here. So this weld had broken and this was kind of rattling against itself. So what I did, I'll get you the other piece so you can see how at least I think I'm gonna fix it. This is the end of the muffler, as you can see. So I cut it just before the factory, I think that's the factory weld. It doesn't look very good. It's possible that the previous owner welded that back up. I'm not sure. It's only a 2016, so maybe not. But regardless, I cut it at that weld just before. That piece came right out and was sitting in here. So now I'm gonna weld this back to that. I'm gonna put all this back together and I'm gonna weld it shut. And we'll see what it sounds like. I'm gonna post this video because most of the other muffler videos were for older foremans. When they switch from mild steel to stainless, I guess they had issues with weld quality or something and so the baffles would fall out and then people would just gut the whole thing and take it out. I don't wanna do that because I still wanna retain a good amount of back pressure for my quad is snorkeled so when I'm under the water, I want it to be able to idle without having to rev it up. So I'm gonna try this. It's a lot, if you have a welder, it's a lot cheaper of an option than replacing it with like an $800 full system. And then they're all aftermarket, so you have to tune it. So you have to get a plug-in tuner, which I don't, I just don't wanna do. I just wanna keep it somewhat factory. There you go. Welded back up. This is mine, which sucks still. And this was the other one, which is like three times worse. <laughs> I'm not a professional welder, but whoever did that definitely isn't. So this must have happened before and they tacked it back together. I got distracted and I never did a final video. So it did fix the problem. Uh, in case you have that issue, that's how you can fix it. Give you a shot of what it sounds like right now. Now that it's back to normal and not rattling. I hope that helps some of you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.